Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. I listened to your guys' comments about the FRS. We usually run the APR wing, which is currently sitting on the M3. No, we didn't mount it up on there. She's just chilling on there for now. So we usually run that giant wing on this car, which I absolutely love, and I'm, I'm sure we'll go back to that eventually. But a lot of you guys wanted to see a huge duck bill on the car, and I think that'll look good as well. So I went online, and I found a pretty cheap one, 150, 200 bucks and I think it's already black to be honest. I'm not sure if it's gonna match or how well it'll match. And of course, if we want to do a duck bill full time, we would have to get a different trunk because this one's all drilled for the APR wing. But let's pull out that duck bill and set it up on the car, see how she looks. So it's just sitting on there right now, not mounted, not bolted. Right off the bat, the quality of this thing is not very good. You get what you pay for. The finish of it is obviously meant to be painted or wrapped, but she would need a ton of prep work to ever look remotely good. That's how it looks from the back. Not bad, I don't mind it. Let's see if we have enough vinyl wrap here to get that thing wrapped black just to match the car and then slap some double side tape on and we can run this thing for, I don't know how long until we get sick of it. I just did something that I think would look really, really sick if we ended up doing this. Check this out. What if we ran both the big wing and the big duck bill together? We would either have to move the wing forward, which would include drilling a ton of new holes, or we could simply just trim the duck bill right around the wing. And we could do, if we did it like really, really nicely, I think it would look good. And that is how she would look. It's a lot going on, but this whole car is kind of a lot going on. So I think it looks sick. So we got it all prepped out, completely sanded down with 400 grit. That took a lot of work, but she'll look a lot better now. The problem is we do not have any gloss black vinyl wrap here, so I might just end up painting it black. And then if we do decide to run the wing, we're gonna have to cut it and trim it and modify it out anyway, and then we could wrap it black then. I do have a decent amount of gloss black, just rattle can. So I think we should just do that temporarily. All right, so we went ahead and got that trunk lip painted. But as you can see, it doesn't match whatsoever. My boy Alex at Elko Tent Shop came through and dropped off some vinyl wrap at the very last minute and they were closed, so big shout out to Elko for that. Thank you, sir. Let's pop that thing off. I'm gonna give it a quick wet sand and then we can vinyl wrap it and put it back on the car. Should look a thousand times better. We are gonna run it with no wing for now. Like I said in the future, if we ever wanna put the wing on, a little bit of trimming right here, the wing will sit back on there. All right, boys, we got the trunk clip wrapped. We got it installed, double side tape. We did have the option of bolting it on, but I would rather not drill holes in the trunk as usual. So here's how she looks with no wing, with just a big ass duck bill. Or not, it's not huge, but she's a decent size. Take a look at that. And now here is how she look with the wing. Drop a comment down below, no wing or wing with the big duck bill. For now, I'm gonna run no wing. I'm guaranteeing in the future, I will probably get bored and want to spice it back up and throw the wing back on. Okay, I think it's time to finish what we started yesterday. So yesterday we did the lift pump and the sump on the Duramax. And the very last thing we need to do to finish up the fuel system is install our Exergy, I think it's how you say it, yeah, Exergy Performance System Saver. So if that CP4 blows, this thing should technically 
catch all of the metal fragments before they enter the rest of the fuel system and cost us like, I think people on the are saying like 15 grand, 10 to 15 grand if your CP4 blows. This is 200 bucks and I think it's well worth it. So here's what we have to do. Pull off the serpentine belt from the AC compressor. Remove the AC compressor. There's three, they look like 15 millimeter bolts. So pull that compressor, set it aside. We don't need to disconnect any of the hoses or anything so we don't have to recharge the system, but just get it set aside. And then that should give us access to get the system saver installed. All right, this is actually a lot easier than I expected. So we got the AC compressor off, moved a few little wires, and you see that little doodad right there with a the wiring clip going to it. There's two, I believe they're T25 Torx. Pull off those two bolts, unplug that wiring clip, and that is the piece we are replacing. There's the factory unit and this is the Exergy one. They look identical. This has a much, much finer screen in it. Pretty much the only difference from what I understand. Let's slap in that new system saver, get this thing back together and we'll be 100% done. Pro tip, don't uh, don't leave tools in your engine bay, all right? They're gonna make some noise. They'll definitely make some noise. Not gonna lie, for a second, I thought I blew this thing up. She was rattly. All right, that's a little better. I just wanna make sure we don't have any leaks in the engine bay. I think we're good. Cool. That was another one of those things where I kind of planned out like the whole day just to get that system saver in and it took us like an hour. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited for that. We do still have a Bilstein replacement shock because our last one is broken on the passenger side. So we can get that swapped out today. And then we do have those window visors as well that I want to get on. I was, I was gonna wait to put those on, but we might as well just put them on today. So it almost looks like the shock overextended and ripped apart right here. So this part slides down in there. Looks like it ripped apart and then when it went to go back down, it obviously jammed up and just destroyed everything. My thought is that it's too short somehow for the lift kit, but it's the shocks that come with the lift if you upgrade the both things. The driver's side's been fine. Let's throw on the new passenger side. If it keeps happening, then we're gonna have to look into it further and see what the heck is going on. I honestly didn't realize these were in channel window visors when I picked them up. And I've been trying to get this one on for like 20, 30 minutes now. No matter what I do, the window keeps binding up on this lower section down here. I didn't mind how the in channel looked. I thought it was pretty clean, but clearly the set that we picked up were not the highest of quality because they did not really fit all that well. I'm gonna do some shopping around, try to find a really, really nice set for this truck and order those. All right, my friends, that is gonna be a wrap for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the FRS setup. I really think 
with or without the wing, that new duck bill, the bigger duck bill on there looks so much better. Flows very, very nicely. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you tomorrow.